Specific images bring back memories from the past. I think that we should treat plant pathogens as outlaws. We are in search of the yellow dragon. It is not a mythical beast with wings and hooves. It is a disease that could wipe out California's citrus industry. The insect vector first appeared in San Diego County last year and is rapidly moving north toward the San Joaquin Valley. It is smaller than an aphid and is almost impossible to kill. It can withstand freezing conditions and if cyclones. You have a healthy orange, which is as opposed to, say, infected trees that have been spread by the disease of the yellow dragon. Also called In the past few years, the yellow dragon, also called citrus greenie or Huanglong bing, has quickly spread to become the largest threat faced by U.S. citrus growers. <laughs> The symptoms of an infected tree are similar superficially to that of a nutrient deficient tree and could easily confuse growers that are not accurately informed about the disease. Yellowing shoots, mottling leaves, discolored, lopsided, and bitter tasting fruits, smaller than that of healthy crops, are all traits of an infected citrus tree. Efforts to quarantine, uproot, burn, or even to treat the trees with antibiotics have only temporarily slowed down the spread, but these solutions are no nearer to bringing a complete end to the damages caused by citrus green than they were a few years ago, especially when the original culprits are still on the loose. Asian citrus salads, winged insects that feed on citrus trees, carry the bacterial pathogen for life after feeding on an infected tree. This insect can then in turn infect many other trees in its path, so what is there to do? We are using RFID and cellular technology to read, record, and share information about plant diseases. We have glued an RFID tag to a metal loop. The ag tag is then attached to an orange tree using a zip tie. And voila, it's right there. What I just did was I attached an RFID tag onto the orange tree. I did this is because if we use an RFID reader such as on a PDA or a cell phone, we can retrieve videos, data, or other pieces of information. If my kid is sick, I call the doctor. I wonder whom I contact about my trees. Government places wanted posters of criminals in the DMV and post office. Do they have an interactive plant disease service online? They do. It is difficult to find. I would like to use RFID technology to improve the process. We should be able to take a photo of a tree with a cell phone and immediately send the image and location to a plant pathologist. Maybe we should use social networks. Here's an example of an interactive RFID tagged orange soda can. Using a cell phone, we can read and send a message or tweet to the online community. If someone has a problem, answer, or suggestion, they can tweet back. Maybe we could post a video on YouTube or start a blog. The possibilities are endless. Shouldn't we try? Oranges should be the state fruit. If it were, people would get more involved. Think about it. When bald eagles were placed on the endangered list, it became a national effort to save them. Folks couldn't imagine America without the eagle. Well, I can't imagine California without oranges.